Hey, what's good, y'all? How y'all doing? How y'all doing, man? We back with another video, man. And today, today I'm talking about how Matt Canada is just a terrible offensive coordinator, man. He sucks. He sucks. I can't even lie to y'all. He's bad. He's bad. He's a bad offensive coordinator. Now, I'm not coming here with film or clips or anything, but I'm coming here to basically say I'm tired of Matt Canada. Just like how I think everybody else is tired of Matt Canada. Like, it's it's ridiculous how bad he is. It's ridiculous how it feels like he's running the same five plays. We're watching our players come out in the same set. He comes out in the same set every time. And you know what I really want to talk about? There's a play that we run every drive. You know that play where Mitchell Trubisky rolls to his right and then throws to the sideline? We do that at least once every drive. He rolls to his right side or he rolls to his left side and he throws near the sideline every time. Every time. It, it happens every drive. I swear, this Sunday, it'll probably happen every drive. Like, that's a Matt Canada call. Now, I know a lot of people, they're calling for Mitch Trubisky to be benched. Too. Yes, Mitch Trubisky is not the greatest. I called him Minch. Mitch Trubisky is not the greatest quarterback. Okay, we know that. We get that. But Matt Canada is the problem. Yes, Mitch, he may not have division sometimes. He may make terrible decisions sometimes. But Matt Canada is the problem. Matt Canada sucks. His play calling is terrible. Everybody sees it. Nobody wants to admit it on that staff. Mike Tomlin won't fire him. Uh, I hope we at least can fire this man before the bye week or after the bye week or during it. Something. Because it's bad. Even Snoop Dogg is tired of this man. And the Pittsburgh Steelers need a new fucking offensive coordinator. This guy sucks. Coach Tomlin, this is Snoop Dogg, man. Fire that motherfucker and get us a real offensive coordinator. Like, it just amazes me how... Everybody's coming out saying Matt Canada sucks. Matt Canada's trash. Ain't one of the crazy part, he's not even the worst in the league. The, have y'all seen the Broncos offense? It is terrible. The Broncos offense is terrible. And I know that because Russell Wilson is selling me in fantasy. But Matt Canada, man, it's just been a lot going on, man. And a lot of people, they don't like him. And it's starting to become a problem even in the locker room. Even in the locker room, people don't like him. Chase Claypool, they asked Chase Claypool, do we feel like you have an identity on this offense? Chase Claypool said, we have the playmakers, but we do not have an identity. We don't. We have all the playmakers in the world. We got Deontay Johnson, Claypool, Najee, Pat, George. I feel like I go over this every single Steelers video because we have so many offensive guys, so many great players. None of them are getting put to use. None of them are getting put to use at all. And it's ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. It's terrible. And I don't know. I, I, hey, man. Like, I don't know what we're going to do. There was also another report. The guys, they're, they're, they're not liking the play calling and are not liking the play caller. That's what a reporter heard was, or was hearing. Quote, unquote, take all this with a grain of salt. We don't know if it's fact or not. But that's what a reporter heard from the Steelers locker room. They're not liking the play call and they're not liking the play caller. And I don't either. The fans don't. A lot of people don't. I despise, despise is crazy. I dislike Matt Canada. I dislike him. He's not a good play caller. I tried to give him the benefit of the doubt last year. Okay, we got Big Ben. He's a statue, couldn't move. I was like, yeah, okay, cool. What about this year? Mr. Bisky can move. He can move. Like I said, some of the plays be on Mr. Bisky. Sometimes he don't find that open man. But the play calling, why are we coming out in the same five sets all game? Why are we doing the same plays, the same three, four plays every game? This is not Madden. This is not Madden. What are we doing? Shit, even on Madden, you don't do that. Like, the offensive line has been going crazy this season. The offensive line looks pretty. They look all right. They look all right this, this season. You know what I'm saying? We don't even run the ball. You know what I'm saying? We we'll re, we try to run the ball, but it's like, uh, by the time we running the ball, game's over. Mitch Trubisky already made a thousand mistakes. You know what I'm saying? The most, the most we'll do, check down the Najee. He loves check downs. He loves screens. He loves like, bro, we got to mix it up. We got to mix it up. And last last week, they got me. Last week, they got me. We came out on Thursday night football, put up 14 points first half. Offense was looking decent. Second half, same old Matt Canada. Same old Matt Canada. Same old Mr. Bisky. It's just bad. This is a bad offense, man. It's just bad. Like, this offense is not good. And I know, I know I'm complaining right now, but... I feel like everybody feels the same way. It's not good. This offense is terrible. 
it's terrible. And it shouldn't be this terrible because we have so many guys. We have so many playmakers. Even Jalen Warren, the backup running back, he's coming into his own. We have so many playmakers, but I just feel like two people are holding us back. Matt Canada and a little bit of Mitch Trubisky. I'm not going to put all of it on Mitch. Yes, he... Mitch is not... What is that? Mitch is not bad. Mitch is not bad. I mean... Whoa, I said Mitch is not bad. He, shit. Shit. Yes, he is. Mitch is not good, but he's not the worst. He's not the worst. You know what I'm saying? Like, it could be better. It could be better. It could definitely be better. There was also another report that came out and said, I guess, I don't know who said this. I don't know if this was anonymous or this was the reporter saying this, but he said he thinks Matt Canada is problem one, two, and three. And I feel the same way. Matt Canada is the problem. Matt Canada is the problem. Mike Tomlin has to see this. Like at some point, you have to make a decision. I understand it's week four, y'all. It's week four and we're one and two. We can very much bounce back, you know what I'm saying, whenever. But the way our schedule look, I don't know. But it's week two. I said week two. We have two losses. It's week four. And um, yeah, I get it. It might be too early to, you know, maybe Matt Canada might turn it around. But I doubt it. I doubt it. I doubt it. I don't see it happening. I see us being, I see Mike Tomlin having his first season, if y'all want me to be honest, having his first losing season, if you want me to be honest with y'all. Mike Tomlin might have his first losing season. The way this offense is looking, if we can't get down the field, granted, there's going to be games where the defense turn up, but how long is the defense going to turn up for, you know what I'm saying, if the offense ain't doing nothing? It's no way in that Bengals game, there's, there's no way we have like five, what do we have, six turnovers? I think we had six turnovers in that game. We ain't really scored no points off it. I think we had a field goal. Field goal and a pick six. There's no way we shouldn't have dropped at least 30 in that game. There's no way. There's no way. But the, the offense is terrible. Terrible play calling. Bad execution. It's just bad, man. It's just bad. There's a lot going on. We need to get it together, though. You already know how I feel about this Jets game coming in. This is a must-win game. It's a must-win game for us. We don't win this game. Season's done, in my opinion. There's no way we bounce back. It's no way. It's no way. We got a tough stretch coming up. After this, this Jets game, next Sunday, it's on. We go through the gauntlet. Buffalo, Tampa, Miami, New Orleans, Eagles. We got to go through that gauntlet. Like, it don't get no easier. And I'm pretty sure I'm missing somebody, too. I know I am, actually. But I don't know what we're going to do, man. But all I know is Matt Canada, I would love to see him fired. I don't care what our record is by the time we get to that bye week. Fire him. Fire him, please. You know, I'm never the one to wish a man out of a job. But if you ain't doing it right, you got to go. He ain't doing it right. So get out. Fire that man. Find somebody new. And let's use our talent. We have too much talent to be stagnant. Too much talent to be stagnant. Like, the rest of the NFL is moving on pretty much, being dominant on offense, and we can't do nothing. I don't. I just don't understand. I just don't understand it. But that's really all I got today, man. I just came here to complain about Matt Canada. I, this whole video is just me complaining. I don't like Matt Canada. Nobody does. Nobody in this in this Steeler, Steeler Nation likes Matt Canada. Mike Tomlin. I, Mike Tomlin probably don't even like him. He's probably trying, he's probably trying to save him, man. But... F all the saving, man. Get him out of here. I want him out. I want him out by the bye week. I'm done with him. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if he's only been here for two years. Get out. Get out. You're done. You're done in my book. Mitch Trubisky, you got, you got like two more games. You got two more games. I'm giving you two more games. And I'm done with you. We get the week six and you still not doing what you're supposed to be doing. Still missing open men and just, just going out there and not doing the right things. Not throwing... That's another thing about Matt Canada. I, just, I said I was done. I'm not done because every time I think I'm done, I got more. I have more. There's more. That's another thing about Matt Canada. He's not even sending our receivers over the middle of the field until the end of the game when we have to. Deontay Johnson's not running to the middle of the field. There was a chart where he had strictly outside. It was just all outside for Deontay Johnson. He didn't run over the middle of the field once that Browns game. Chase Claypool isn't running over the middle of the field. I have not seen George Pickens run over the middle of the field twice. We send Pat Fryer move over the middle of the field when we have to, when we're down. And it works every time. It works every single time. So why are we not doing it more often? Do you not believe in Mitch? You don't believe he can get the throws there? He's a professional quarterback. 
he better try. But Matt Canada, you need better play calling because it's getting ridiculous, man. We're tired of seeing it. I'm tired of seeing it. We got another home game coming up. This is a must win, in my opinion. We have to win this game. Have to. If not, season's done. But we'll get to that when I drop that video Saturday. But I love y'all. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. Put a poll up yesterday on YouTube on if Matt Canada should be fired or not. Majority of y'all voted yes. Whoever voted no, I don't know what you're watching. Like, no offense to you. I don't know what you're watching, though. But, hey, man. But, yeah, love y'all. Make sure I like, share, subscribe. Hashtag Fire Mac Canada. It's on. I'm about to start it. Hashtag Fire Mac Canada. Please. Please. But, yeah. Once again, love y'all. Make sure I like, share, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. The channel's growing. Make sure y'all please stay safe out here because it's getting wild, man. It's getting wild. I'm, it's crazy how I see something bad every day. I see something bad every day. It's ridiculous the world that we live in, but y'all make sure y'all stay safe. Fire Mac Canada. I love y'all and I'm out.